What's up, my Aries Leo and Sagittarius? It's me, the Fly Empress, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm back with another energy update for November the 22nd to November the 26th. Remember, this reading will not resonate with everyone, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, the energy can be flipped, switched, reversed. This could be you, someone you're dealing with, or someone who's still connected to your energy, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What's the main thing? Give me one more card. Aries Leo. Why is this here, Spirit? Really? So, the first card we got out, we got the three of wands coming in sideways as a challenge. I definitely feel like someone is having a hard time coming towards you. All right, I feel like somebody is wanting to come towards you, but they feel like um, it's issues or something is standing in the way here. Okay. With the seven of wands coming in sideways, for some of you, you could be, you could still have your guards up when it comes to this person here. Okay, but this person is feeling blocked. I'm hearing block. You can have this person blocked, but spirit can have this person blocked as well. <clears throat> So we also got the nine of swords coming in in reverse and we got the nine of cups coming in in reverse here. With the nine of swords in reverse, somebody is trying to get out of their head how they walked away from you. It's like this person can't believe that they made a decision to walk away from you. I just heard the best thing I ever had. You you was the best thing that this person ever had. Okay. I'm definitely seeing this person reflecting at this time. Okay. They're reflecting over a lot of things, a lot of decisions. Um, even choosing to be with certain people. This person is looking at all of the chaos that they cause as well. Oh, I'm definitely picking up on a reflecting here. This person is reflecting on the past. And they also feel like, this person feels like you're done with them. Like you have healed from this situation. Like you no longer have the same feelings as you used to have for them. And I feel like this bothers this person as well. But a lot of them, they know that they are the reason why you walked away. Yeah, this person know. Spirit, what's the situation? Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. This person know they caused a betrayal in your life. And they, they feel like they're the reason why you guys aren't together now. This person is really missing you. I'm hearing your touch. This person also missed waking up to you or something about the morning, in the morning. Because I'm seeing like the sun coming through a window and two people laying in the bed smiling at each other. This person missed the glow of your skin. Like I'm definitely seeing them reminiscing here. They're thinking a lot about the past. Spirit, what's the situation? What's the situation? Okay, so we got strength coming in in a reverse. I definitely feel like this person that went through some type of ego death. Um, I feel like spirit has humbled this person as well. All right. Because I'm definitely like seeing someone saying you, you think you the shit or something. 
But this person has definitely went through an ego death here. And I do feel like with the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles, this person is wanting to come back in and offer you true love. They feel like they wasted time in the past. They also feel like past issues and situations, they wasn't worth, it wasn't worth losing you. Okay, this person is wanting a brand new beginning. They wanted to offer something stable here. Um, I just heard, I want to be everything you need. All right. With the Four of Swords, this person might not be getting enough sleep, though. I feel like they think about this a lot. And it's like trying to get up the courage or the strength to come towards you is very difficult. Because I feel like this person is, is surrounded by anxiety. I picked this up for the Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius reading. Y'all might be dealing with um, um, an air sign or something. But this is somebody who's definitely in their head, in their worry, in their stressed out. Okay? Because they are wanting to come back in and offer a new beginning with you. This person is ready to put in the work now. Spirit, what's what's influencing this? <laughs> what else? Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this person is realizing by turning their back on you, they turned their back on their legacy. They also feel like you are their divine partner and they can't make it without you. All right, this person is also looking at all the karma they that they accumulated over the years. And what they did to you, it brought more karma into their life as well. And I'm definitely seeing that this person is wanting this divine union back. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse, yeah, this person is taking a second look at you. This person is turning around and saying, damn, she was there the whole time. I done turned my back on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person feels stupid. For investing in the wrong people, places, or things here. And I'm definitely um, seeing someone that's thinking about you a lot. This person is admiring you. Admiring your beauty, your strength, your will. Like this person think you're very um, brave and courageous as well. <laughs> Like, I feel like they had dealt with some people before in their life that put up with their shenanigans or choose to stay with them even when they was doing wrong. And by a lot of you guys having the strength to walk away from this connection, I feel like this could have shocked this person or this person is looking at um, how valuable you are, how strong you are, how you don't put up with nonsense. You have a lot of discipline and a, and a lot of structure in your life. And this person is realizing that this is what they needed. Yeah, spirit. What's the challenge? What's the challenge? So, yeah. I definitely feel like it's a challenge to come back into your life, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, you're doing pretty good for yourself. And this person know that you don't need them. And it's like, they feel like what they have to offer, you're not going to take it. But this person is also having a hard time healing themselves as well, you guys. I picked this up on the Libra reading as well, on the Air Signs reading. This person, spirit is requiring this person to balance their life, okay, to balance their selves. And a lot of them is trying to find a way to uh, not go through this, okay? This person don't like feeling alone, but this person is choosing to be alone here, all right? And it's because 
They know that this is the only way that they can come back into your life, but they know that you're not going to take them no any type of way. They're going to have to have their shit together. Okay, it's a challenge for them to come in and talk to you because they know that they have to go through this healing process, that they have to work on themselves. But I'm hearing, um, I just heard by any means necessary. So I do feel like that whoever this person is, they about to put in the work. And I feel like spirit is pushing this person as well. This person could be having a lot of dreams. I'm hearing nightmares, all right? I feel like this person, I had a dream of you being with someone else. And this person cannot stand the thought of someone else touching you as well. <laughs> what the hell? Get your shit together then. Hell. Yeah, Spirit, what's the outcome? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome? Okay. All right, y'all. So we got the moon. We got the moon here and we got the six of wands. So I'm definitely picking up that this person is definitely in their emotions. This person is still in their head as well. They're really thinking about how they let you down, how they let this relationship down too. This person is reflecting over the things that they have done in their life. And with the Hermit card being the last card to come out here, this person is about to go within, all right, and fix those inner wounds. They finna fix the shit that really need healing here, okay? I do see a lot of them getting a lot of wisdom, learning a lot of new things as well. I'm here to elevate my soul's growth. This person is ready. This person is about to be ready to do the necessary work to elevate their soul's growth here, okay? Spirit is divinely guiding this person. All of this was uh, divinely orchestrated as well. Spirit, what? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Once this person go within and put in the necessary work that they're supposed to put in themselves, Ace of Wands, nothing is going to stop this person from coming towards you, okay? This person is wanting a new, passionate beginning with you. Spirit, yeah, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, because I feel like the past was not their wish fulfillment. They're tired of not feeling fulfilled. They're tired of not feeling happy. And I just heard, I want my family back. Okay, so some of them, they're ready to, uh, they're ready for their family. I don't know if you guys have blended a blended family. You might share kids with this person or this person just look at you as being family, but they're wanting you back here. Oh, too many spirit. I'm going to take the cards that flipped on the table. So we got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. This person is going to be rushing in to talk to you, okay? Because they want a new passionate beginning here. But I definitely feel like they're about to put in the work. I feel like you'll know when this person is finished with their healing process. And remember, you guys, sometimes this takes time. You got to think about your own soul journey and how much time it took for you to heal and release it takes time you know it can't be rushed okay but i do see this person is going to be rushing back in because they want to be with you this person wanting they want to offer you a new beginning here spirit what else judgment yeah this person is going to make a judgment here this person is going to learn their lesson you guys okay I'm also hearing second chance. Some of you guys are, are going to decide to give this person a second chance here. And it's after they done, uh, I just heard, been dipped in water. After this person has cleansed their energy of all this toxic energy, 
I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you are going to give them a second chance here. Yeah. Ten of Swords in reverse. This is talking about healing. I feel like you guys are going to have a long overdue talk or a long overdue conversation as well. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Swords. So, Five of Swords also talks about standing your ground. Um, I feel like when this person comes towards you, you're going to let this person know where you stand, which you're not going to accept, like all of that, okay? This person is not going to be able to get away with what they used to get away with. We got the sun in reverse. The sun in reverse. This is talking about um, being down, being depressed, or being sad here, okay? With the two of wands, I feel like this person is ready to get out of this phase. This person is tired of feeling like this because I feel like you bring a lot of sunshine into this person's life. I literally saw the sun come through the window. So you are the sun in this person's life. I definitely feel like whoever this is, they're getting a new perspective. This person is starting to see things um, in a healthier point of view as well. So yeah, you guys, that's what I got. And look, the lovers. Yeah, this person is coming back in because they're wanting to reconnect with you. This person miss you a lot. And they realize that no one else compared it to you. They can't find you nowhere else. Because for some of them, I do believe they've been looking for you at other people. But ain't nobody else like you out there. Okay? So this person is definitely wanting to come back and rekindle with you. So, all right, you guys. That's what I got. I hope you guys like this content. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And until we see each other later, I love you guys so much. Peace.